How's it going everyone? My name is Nicholas and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video I'll be showing you how to set up the person search. So the person search is made out of three things. It's made out of the civilian information, the vehicles, the license, etc. and the firearm. So make sure that you have all these three already created. If you check my other videos which is how to set up a civilian page I believe. There's two parts of that video, so make sure to check it out and set these up before setting up the person search. So let's get right into it. First of all, you have to get a page. I'm going to use an empty page. Then select the group and make it really big. So just make it this big. There you go. Now we double on it and add a border so we don't get lost. All right, great. Now while we're in this group, make sure to select it and scroll all the way down until you find, it should be search box, there it is. Let's make a search box. This is really like how we created the vehicle search. It's the same way by adding a search box and the information will pop up down below. So select another group and make it really big because this is where all the information is going to be there you go now let's add dotted borders so it just makes a difference between this one and that one all right now let's double click on here and let's just name this full name oops there you go all right there you go and let's click on this and click civilian now that we click civilian which is good click on see full name and then it's gonna be search box full name and then create a new status it should be I believe civ search you could call it whatever but I'm just gonna keep it as civ search and it's gonna be a text wait let's try that again but this search but what about making the civilian yep there you go all right make sure it's civilian not text right now let's just double click these should not be empty all right now we're done with the confusing part. We double click on the group, make it a civilian, then do a search for civilian. Civilian's full name equal, uh, let me see, search for name. And there you go. It shows an error for some reason. For, all right, first item. Now that we were done with this part, uh, we only have to click on the text and add like the full name, the gender, and, and all that stuff. All the fun stuff. Now just stop by full name. It's gonna be. Hmm. Let's remove this and put a repeating group in here and let's just set it to one row let's make it as big as this group is so do the same thing uh, let's see do a search for Civilian full name equal hmm. full name value full name. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Um, the group that we made before that was right here. Just remove that and replace it with the repeated group because that's how it's supposed to be. 
All right, now let's get a text. Make a really nice text. Let's write full name. And let's click on this and it's going to be current cell civilian full name. Now we double click on that. Same thing, but it's going to be agenda. Then we paste again. Let's change this. Next one will be DOB, which is the date of birth. And let's select the last one, which will be the address. There you go. Now we could also include a mugshot. If I remember that we have a mugshot here somewhere. I guess I didn't make it now. Right, that's fine. Now let's just put this close to each other. Alright, great. Now we're gonna make another group. Let's see. Okay. Make a little group. This should be this wide. And let's get a text here. Let's write on a license. Nice, probably right. Okay. Now let's change the background to this color so we can see it clearly. Make this text bigger. There you go. Scroll down. Just, you could center it. Now we add these little boxes. Type of license. It's too big. Too small. Perfect. Alright, let's get another one, and we call this created date. We copy, we paste. Next one is going to be revoked. Then it's going to be revoked or suspended type of thing. Suspended with a question mark. Go. Now we get a repeating group and put it right under here. Kind of looks weird, but it's fine. Make it one row, one column. Change this into civilian. Do a search for civilian. Then it's going to be full name equal search box values full name there you go you get another text it's a bunch of text nowadays so it's going to be another text here let's add another border solid border now here's the fun stuff because it's a driver license, it's gonna be a driver's license. The 
created dead will be current cell civilian and it should be creation date there it is so when you create the civilian it automatically creates the license for you so now let's see current revoked okay next one will be current suspended all right great now that's just the license so let's copy this so we don't waste time in another group now we just move these make this wider delete It depends on how big you want it to be since this one will be the firearm oh whoops all right there you go now let's try it firearm always make sure when you're using a uh, repeating group inside this repeating group which is this one when you make another group and have a repeater group, make sure you have this setup, type of content and data source, because that's how it works. So there it is. And let's get some information here. All right. Good, so. Let's just click this and check. Okay, since this is a firearm, this should be changed into firearm. Firearm, there you go. Then owner, no, equal. Search full name, value, there you go. ID made this into two rows make it three there you go this is gonna be the the owner's name then what else do we have let's say license as text yes no let's see if I can there you go And let's set the last one. Can we leave this stolen? Is there stolen? Yep, there it is. Stolen. And there you go. Now let's go down to the vehicles. Vehicles. Now since this is a vehicle, you're gonna have to come here and switch the top content. Same thing here. Vehicle. Oh, well, why did I delete that? Same thing, owner equal and the search box for name value there you go 
Now it's gonna be the plate. You don't need the owner's full name. So it's gonna be it's gonna be the model. Is it insured? Since it's basically the person search is like the vehicle search, but the vehicle search has more information. Let's delete this. Since all of this is information in the vehicle search, it's gonna have this much is enough all right now let's give this a little bit of a test now if I remember let me come in here first and get my person search data, app data, user, and let's run as this user. Alright. That's good enough. We have member one, test one's gonna be member. There you go. So, number one, mail, twelve to nineteen ninety nine. Nowhere. Then you can add. You see the vehicles in the firearm. So, let's say. I believe this character doesn't have a vehicle. No, it doesn't. So let's change into test one. There it is. So you could see that this character does have a vehicle it doesn't show if it's vector suspended so let's see why it's not doing that vector or suspended as text yes no same thing here formatted as text yes no. And let's refresh the three pages. I don't need this one. Alright, now right, let's, let's test this out. There you go. So it's no, no. Then let's go on and make a firearm. Let's say it's an S. An S. Piss. And let's say it's stolen and then insured. Now we have one here. If I go back, you could see it. This is the license, just like how it shows up here. The model it says stolen, not insured. So, since this is a person search, I will be including a part two to this uh, little thing because we still have the tickets the arrest reports and whatnot to create so that will be for another video hopefully soon but i believe that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy if you just slap a like and make sure to subscribe i will be sure to upload more all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace